quickly I traveled to Rome from Paris. When I got off the plane, I was thinking about different ideas that I could share with you. I noticed something very interesting for me that motivated me to come here and talk with you. The plane left uh, 13th row. It was first time for me to sit in the plane that didn't happen. So I decided to ask a flight attendant why this happened. She explained to me that once they had it, but as, as number 13 is considered as, as the sign of bad luck, and as it, was in the, uh, near, as it was near to the emergency exit, no one was buying the ticket. This inspired me and made me to think, in general, what do people believe? I knew a superstition about number 13, but I never knew what was behind that story. I found out that number 13 is mainly connected to Bible. People believed in these superstitions for centuries and they still believe. Even President Roosevelt never tra traveled when it was 13 in his calendar. And in some jo Georgian rural areas, it is believed that if you have 13 children, one of them will become extremely unlucky or will become a criminal. I thought about different superstitions such as broken mirror, as it's considered to predict negative events, or when you pass the doorway, you'll have to come back uh, as uh, you'll have a bad day. Other superstitions such as uh, uh, scattered salt, as it will lead to a fight, or you'll have to celebrate your uh, 14th birthday as it's connected to, number 40 is connected to death. I was so interested in this superstition that I decided to extend my investigation and decided to ask a question. Why do people believe in these ideas? The next thing that came to my mind was horoscope, as it is very popular in our society. Today we live in a globalized world where nearly everyone has a smartphone, and even in uh, smartphones there are apps that provide us everyday horoscopic expectations. If you look on the image, you will find out that this uh, these are uh, descriptions of signs of zodiac, and they are so general that everyone, every person can be convinced in it. Uh, in Georgia, we even have a TV show uh, which provides us everyday horoscopic expectations. Uh, my, my main, also, I want to tell other examples. I'm sure you all know someone who loves fortune telling in his or her cup of coffee with help of coffee sediment or on a hen. Also, another example that I want to tell you from my personal experience is that when I was in Egypt, in the center of an ancient building, there was a beetle, and people were walking around it three times, and it was considered that you would have a happy life. I live in a country where me nearly every person follows uh, traditions. And I can tell you freely that some superstitions transferred into traditions, and traditions uh, influenced culture. For example, on a new year, uh, the first person who comes to your house has to always bring uh, sweets, candy, money, uh, it is, as it is considered that you'll have a productive year. I want to tell you that my main aim uh, to stand here is not just to tell you stories which you might already know. I am here to make you believe why you shouldn't believe, and why shouldn't you be convinced in this kind of beliefs. I tried really hard to think about why do people believe in these beliefs. Uh, maybe they are too afraid to fail and they want black cat to be guilty on, on their uh, bad day instead of finding their own mistakes. People who believe in horoscopes and follow them, in my opinion, are, are not risk takers. They live on others' uh, predictions instead of finding their own solutions in their life. They are afraid to make a decision. They are afraid to fail. Um, I am challenging you to at first ask questions, then analyze, and finally decide. Don't be afraid of making decisions. I want to underline the fact that um, this kind of belief oppresses our freedom, as we are dependent on someone else's ideas instead of our own. So I'm telling you that you, the people, have the power to make your life successful, to make your life, as they said, a wonderful adventure. You have the power to govern your days and govern your future, not other superstitions, horoscopes, or other beliefs. Um, in order to prove to you that I'm not a person who believes in the kind of superstitions, in Georgia we have a tradition, uh, not tradition, but a superstition, where um, 
But if you sit in the corner of something, you would get married after seven years of the blood in your side. So in order to prove this to you that I am not a person who believes in this, I will sit in the corner of a, like this. And let's check after seven years, will I get married or not? Yeah, so this is a little experiment. I'm not the one who's doing the superstitions.